welcome Governor Kim Reynolds and Vice President Mike Pence. Uh, frankly, to see the way the Biden administration uh, has been uh, working to cut military spending since they first came into office is another reason why I stepped forward. I mean, even the recent uh, budget ceiling, debt ceiling deal that they did, uh, actually, if they don't finish all their work, it'll result in a 1% cut in military spending. You know, at a time that China is literally dropping uh, a new warship in the Asia Pacific about every month, uh, we have an administration that literally is a growing government, growing mandates, growing spending, but working to cut defense spending. Uh, that all changes the day that I become president of the United States, I promise you. Well, Bidenomics is a failure, despite all the happy talk coming out of Washington, D.C. You can tell there's an election coming up because all of a sudden, Democrats in the White House are telling you how their policies are all working. Kind of reminds me of what Groucho Marx said one time in an old movie. He said, who are you going to believe, me or your lion eyes? Right? I mean, the American people see what's happening out there. Inflation's up 16.6%. The war on energy by the Biden administration has caused gasoline prices to be up 60%. They just jumped up again last week. The crisis at our border is 100% man-made, and that man's name is Joe Biden. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to get spending under control. We're going to cancel unexpended, unnecessary spending in Washington, D.C. And I promise you, as your president, we're going to drive toward balancing a federal budget, and we're going to reform these old programs to save our nation from a mountain range of debt. But I'm going to tell you what, if I'm your president, we're going to shut down the Federal Department of Education. We're going to send those resources oh, back. Oh, he say, jumped a question. He's got it. And yeah. we're going to revive federalism in America yeah. because America's governors, Republican governors, are proving every day that you can deliver prosperity and security and opportunity for your people. We've got we to we we have, have a season where we're returning to the states and to the American people what our founders intended under the Tenth Amendment to the Constitution. I mean, I, I, as President of the United States, I'm, I'm proud of the fact of what Iowa's done, what Indiana has done to protect yeah. our kids from chemical and, and surgical gender transition treatment. But I'll tell you what, as President of the United States, we're going to protect America's children from gender uh, transition, chemical or surgical. we got to protect our kids in this country, and we will. Not be an I promise you. Yeah. But I'll always be proud of the record of the Trump-Pence administration. And I'll always believe that we charted a course for restoring American security and prosperity. I'm running because uh, I think this is no time for on-the-job training. The challenges America is facing in the world are profound. And we need leadership that can appeal to the better angels of our nature. Leadership that can at least have the possibility of bringing the American people together. To strengthen our nation. To revive our economy. To defend our values. Ladies and gentlemen of the Iowa State Fair, stick around for Mayor of Miami, Francis Suarez, and Governor Kim Reynolds at 10.30.